Welcome to Save the Chimps. Uh, we're home to 232 chimpanzees uh, here in Fort Pierce, Florida. Uh, I'm Dr. Andrew Halloran. I'm the Director of Chimpanzee Behavior and Care. And I want to welcome you to this virtual field trip of a truly fascinating place. Something that you don't see very much of at Save the Chimps are big walls or bars or mesh. And we have those around our chimp houses. But what's really unique about Save the Chimps is that we use water as a barrier for the chimps. And this allows us not to have to have um, mesh everywhere or big walls. It allows the chimps to be able to live out on these big islands, sleep under the stars, see the sun, look out on the horizon. They can call out to other communities on other islands and, and Obviously, it allows us to have very big space for them. Some of our islands are, are almost five acres. So this is something that we wouldn't be able to have just due to the expense of having walls or mesh. Um, and it's something that, that we really like here. Um, now, you may wonder, is it, is it safe to have this? And, and that's always a concern that we have, is that chimps and water don't mix. Uh, luckily, our chimps have a, have a pretty natural fear of the water, and they don't like to go towards it. Uh, you also might notice that there's cattails all around the island. That also presents another kind of safety net for chimps should they get too close to the water. Um, but generally, they have a very natural fear of it, and, and they usually like to stay pretty far away from the water at all times. So this is Rufus's island and Rufus's group. And this is one of my favorite places to be in the sanctuary, and secretly, one of my favorite groups to watch. Um, and I like watching them because they're such a big group and they, uh, you get to watch real dynamics going on. You get to watch the close friendships they have and uh, squabbles they have and all of that. But they're such an amazingly functional group and, and it's really great. And, and they really represent something that's, that's really important to know about chimpanzees. So you may have heard that uh, chimpanzees have a very human-like intelligence, and, and they do. Uh, but that's not the only similarities with humans that, that they have. So chimpanzees have a real need for things like socializing with others. Just like we don't want to be alone, a chimpanzee doesn't want to be alone. And in fact, a chimpanzee really wants to be able to choose who they socialize with and who they don't socialize with. So if you look at a group like Rufus's, there's 24 chimpanzees here, and you'll notice there's not 24 chimps all gathered together. They're breaking up into small little social groups, and then they come back together in, in one big social group. And that's because there's kind of close friendships, close little cliques. Um, in primatology, we call that a fission fusion social group. And that's what chimpanzees have, and that's actually what we as humans have. And it's really incredible to watch that at Rufus's group. The other thing that you can really see here, and this is something that as a sanctuary we really want to provide, is we provide what we call freedom of choice. And just like when you get up in the morning, you might choose to, you know, take a walk first, or eat breakfast first, or sit in the living room, or sit in the den, or, or wherever, anything that you choose to do, something that is really important to you as a human is the freedom to be able to make that choice. And we really try to provide that at Save the Chimps. So you see that the chimps at Rufus's group, they can choose to be inside, they can choose to be outside, they can choose to be on a far off uh, structure, they can choose to come up to the water line and yell at us if they want to. And that's something that we really pride ourselves on. We try to, to give them as much freedom as we possibly can uh, because these chimps have been in captivity. They were born in captivity or they were wild caught and sent to captivity. As a sanctuary, our way to alleviate that is to give them as much freedom as we possibly can while at the same time of giving them space and friends and the ability to look out onto the sky or look out in the horizon. And, and that's what's really important uh, as a mission for us as a sanctuary, to be able to provide that. So the guy you just saw there, his name's Doc. And uh, 
Doc oftentimes likes to walk on two legs uh, or bipedally. Um, that's actually pretty unique for a chimpanzee. We have some chimpanzees that, that like to walk bipedally, but chimpanzees naturally move around with walking on their back legs and on their front knuckles. And we call that knuckle walking. And that's how a chimpanzee is really naturally inclined to walk. Uh, if you look at a chimp's foot, it doesn't look like ours. They have what we call a divergent big toe, which is basically like a thumb. And they can do with their feet anything that we can do with our hands. They can grab hold of things, they can uh, manipulate objects. And unlike our feet, which have an arch and uh, make it so it's very comfortable for us to balance on two legs all the time, chimpanzees aren't like that. In fact, when they're on two legs, it's actually a pretty acrobatic thing they're doing. It's kind of like us walking on our hands. Um, so, it's, so Doc being able to walk on two legs like that is, is pretty special and, and it, sometimes he uses it uh, to show off and, and you know, we, we definitely applaud him for it uh, because it really is an impressive thing he does. I'm really happy you could join us for this trip around Save the Chimps. We're going to do it again next week, so tune in at Wednesday, 9.30, uh, and, and we'll see some more things then. So thanks.